Okay, so uh, this is Dave Vellante, and we're live at Oracle Open World 2011. John Furrier, my colleague from SiliconANGLE, is, um, is back. Uh, John, big day today, a lot of news around, uh, around Apple. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of no news, right? A lot of news that there's no well, iPhone the, the 5. Well, the big news with Apple is there's no iPhone 5. Mm. Um, we got that. And uh, Apple, obviously, we all love Apple, and everyone's been, been on the Apple bandwagon, greatly well-deserved. No Apple iPhone 5, that's the big news. But they did introduce the Apple 4S. And the 4S is essentially kind of like an Apple iPhone 5, in my mind, it's got completely retooled features, and uh, the retooled features from the ground up are dual antennas. That's very, very key, because now that takes them beyond the AT&T. Even though that they had an iPhone for Verizon Wireless, it really wasn't optimized for, it was kind of a hack. Um, and so that's been the talk in the, um, deep in the trenches on the, in the industry. Um, so now the new, the new phone has two antennas, a GSM and a CDMA. So for the folks out there, that's essentially the protocol that they use for the carriers. So AT&T uses a proprietary uh, uh, signal and so does um, uh, Verizon Wireless, among others. So that's essentially the two formats for wireless carriers for data. Um, the other thing is that, that I love about this product is absolutely no brainer that the 1080p video is phenomenal, um, phenomenal upgrade. Um, and that's going to be, make things completely different, especially for the younger generation where they're going to have video. Um, obviously we broadcast on Justin TV and we know Justin Kahn and his team have launched a couple new things besides the gaming channel that they run uh, in an amazing way. But they have a new app called Social Cam. So Justin.tv, go to get that, get that app called Social Cam. Um, and, and that's exactly uh, what they do, is they have video, and I use it all the time. I'm a power user of that. And um, with video, 1080p, um, you know, they, there's, there's a, I'm looking at the monitor right now, Social Cam on Justin TV. Um, and this is the future. Um, people know a company called Instagram, which does photos and pictures and does a little Polaroid kind of thing. Social Cam is the same for video. And with the new iPhone 4S, this absolutely makes the camera and the video compelling. And you're going to see more and more of these video operations out there where consumers can just pop in videos. I was, I was at the Stanford UCLA football game Saturday, popped out a social cam, uh, did a little video clip, popped it up on Facebook and Twitter. I could use it as a Dropbox, I can send an email. And the bottom line is, is that within an instance of that publishing that, I had people ping me, hey, you're at the Stanford game, I'm in, I'm in the next section over. So it's just democratization of the media is just phenomenal. Obviously we're doing the cube here, in-depth coverage, we can do that with things like with Justin TV and now with Social Cam. Uh, these cameras do that. So the 4S has 1080p video, 64 gigabyte um, SSD drive, um, they have eight megapixel camera, and iOS 5 and iCloud, their new cloud, essentially will replace Mobile Me on October 12th. So that's the big announcement from Apple. That's uh, fantastic news from Apple. On the Oracle side, you know, the normal news is just you know, more upgrades from Oracle on technology around here. Uh, at Oracle Open World, we're live. Um, M&A activity is hot. We saw this morning, Gluster was bought for $136 million by Red Hat. So again, the big story here in the industry is Apple and here at Oracle is about open source, it's about big data. So, so it's really compelling. Um, <laughs> that's a picture of my beach walk. Uh, I was at the beach just last week uh, in California. Blue skies, horses, fishing. Uh, to go stroll on the beach with my daughter on our field trip. Um, that's the kind of user experience you get with, with these social cam apps. And uh, you add the iPhone 4S, uh, it's really compelling. Um, that means that the iPhone 5 will be completely amazing, in my opinion, so expect to see that. Um, that's what people want to know. Should we should we buy the iPhone 4S? That's what people want to know. Or should they yeah, wait? I think. Uh, or should they buy an Android phone? Well, it kind of depends. I have an iPhone 4. I love it. The problem is, I use it so much. I need a new one. I mean, I just beat the hell oh, out of it. On. It's just good. I just use it all the time. I do business with it. I tweet with it. I'm online. And so, um, the, combined with the fact that the wear and tear of the iPhone 4, I've had it since its launch. Um, I need a new one, and and the features are compelling. The video, in particular, and the camera. Um, really take remarkable pictures. Um, what is the price? How much? Six hundred dollars. Yeah, I'll, I'll. I won't drink as many beers this week, so uh, you know, save some cash. Um, you know, but the most you'll part, make money on that too. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, it, it costs some cash. Uh, it's six hundred dollars. I mean, you can look at the, what the, these tablets are going for. I mean, it's just pricing netbooks and. Um, 
as priced the uh, Air, Microsoft, I mean the uh, MacBook Air. I mean, you can get a MacBook Air for uh, you know, $900. So, you know, it's expensive, but it's worth it. Um, so some Oracle announcements today, like 8,000 of them just hit the, uh, hit the inbox. I'll just go through some, some of them. Obviously a lot of keynote stuff going on. Oracle previews next generation Oracle application development framework mobile. So this is something we've been waiting for, John. At Sapphire, we heard a lot of, of, of CIOs and others talking about wanting to develop an application platform, uh, an app store for the enterprise. We've been questioning where, where is Apple, or where is uh, Oracle in mobile? We know where Apple is. Um, and so, announcements today around that. Where's Oracle and mobile? Nowhere. I mean, that's the story for me at Oracle Open World is the fact that uh, you know, Oracle is nowhere with mobile. Their mobile pavilion has six non-players, um, no real presence. Unlike SAP at their keynote, SAP had significant mobile announcements. They talked about in-memory analytics with HANA. Oracle countered that here with a big announcement with their uh, Exalytics, which is their Exadata and their analytics platform. Um, but Oracle clearly has work to do, and I think next year, you'll see major movement well, for Oracle on mobile. I mean, obviously Oracle's mobile strategy is around Java, right? I mean, they own Java, but um, you know, we're talking about previewing next generation Oracle application development frameworks for mobile. I think you're right. I think it's a year away before we see any real Well, I mean, Dave, you, 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 know, you gave some really good uh, um, analysis and insight around Oracle. Uh, for the folks who don't know Oracle, they're not like Apple in the sense they're pioneering anything. They're really fast followers. They wait for markets to be validated and then they come in and try to own them. And so I think that's exactly what's happening with Oracle with mobile. Mobile security is very uh, uh, weak. It's been one of the hottest areas in development. Companies like Juniper Networks got mobile security. We got we heard from VMware talking about their uh, trying to shore up the security angle on with the virtualization. Um, cloud has got some security challenges in general. So you know here I think you're going to see from Oracle. Um, them telegraphing their mobile strategy, and that is, they got to develop it, and there's really no products. I mean, yeah, they use the web, but for the most part, there's no real purpose-built mobile Oracle solutions. Yeah, so um, a lot of discussion in uh, Oracle Open World about Fusion Apps it's an initiative that Oracle has not. Bought. It's purchased so many application companies over the years, and, and there's an initiative going on to to fuse those applications together. It's obviously a very complicated task. Um, and there's some customer the other, examples here that... that the other that thing, by the way, up. just go back to the Apple announcement, they had this Siri product, um, which we actually did an interview on at South by Southwest two years ago, um, our first ever prototype cube, uh, and so we're going to go to that interview later today, but this is a really cool application that allows you to use voice activation to find stuff. Find that song that has certain words in it. It's just really good voice activation uh, again, one of the big things I liked about the Android phones was the fact that voice activation was a really big thing, so uh, that's a really cool feature for the iPhone 4S. Um, is it worth the price? Don't know. Other news here is that's being confirmed on the blogs right now that Microsoft did confirm the death of the Zune player. Uh, you <laughs> Oh, so not it a is big, dead. Not a big success, the, but the, it is the, dead. The death of Zune was not exaggerated. Zune, Zune is dead. <laughs> That's just another uh, proof point that Apple killed Microsoft again. Um, so. Uh, that's big news. Gloucester was bought by Red Hat for $136 million. Real tell, telltale sign that the open source community is alive and well, and big data and unstructured data is a big part of that, and we'll be covering that on siliconangle.com. Go to siliconangle.com, you get all the news on the enterprise, cloud, mobile, and social. We cover like a blanket. Siliconangle.tv is where we have all the videos, so. Um, I just got a, um, an email across in my box. It's uh, EMC did a press release announcing that IDC announced that EMC is number one in, in Oracle, so you can see here what IDC did is they did a, a, a bunch of workload cuts, and you can see across the top, you know, no surprise, right? EMC is number one in storage, so you would expect that in any workload that IDC cut, because it's kind of how IDC does it, does the cut, and, you know, it, and so you can see business intelligence analytics, Oracle applications um, across the board, EMC, then you see NetApp. Why don't NetApp you forward that uh, that's a Mark Hopkins? You can put it on the net. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, so we've got our next guest. 